Hey there, a huge thank you to everyone who helped support the content, including our newest Renegade member, Garda, for helping support the content and clicking the join button down below. Highly appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much for that. If you do enjoy the content, you can always click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell if you want to be notified about when we put out fresh content most days. Also, spoilers for the beta branch of Noya and its updates. Enjoy the show, my friends. And I'm um, suffer of let's suffer to get back in the mount well in the lake actually, but the mountains, you know. Oh my god, another update, and as you can see from the title, this one's kinda big. We've got liquid set up. We have I'll show you a full list of everything that's changed. But I think I'll be covering most of it, most of it, I think. Probably. But either way, without further ado, this is more of an alchemic. It's like Alchemy update part two. We have already had an alchemy update with the Midas gas. So what do we have here? We have bone dust. I've got three different types of bone dust. You know, in the game, there's uh, quite a few of the same types of spell in the cheat GUI when it comes to, you know, flasks. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. Can you give me some spark bolt? <laughs> I want some spark bolt or something. Nah, I'll probably just end up giving myself one quickly. One builder. Uh, no, I don't want to spawn it. I want to reset. I'm just giving myself a lot of ones. Actually, if I spawn it, because I think I've got edit. I do have edit, so I need something to break these potions, because that spitter bolt won't do. Ah, there we are. Ah, drop a bolt. That would do it, wouldn't it? But we've got about four or five different kind of big old test tubes ready and we're going to go magic ball. Magic ball's going to perform the duty. It sure is. Yeah, it's a little bit, a tiny bit explosive, actually. There we go. So we'll put our magic ball on. So first up, we've got a bit of vomit. You can vomit in this game. Um, word to the wise, don't go vomiting around bone dust. Because you get a mixture. Oh dear. Uh, apparently, things are happening. You get the new weakening liquid. In Diminutin. Diminutin! Which weakens you incredibly. As you can see, the debuff right over there. It's quite powerful. Strange liquid on your clothing is causing you to feel weak. Grace! Hey, I mean, it rubs off. Eventually. So I'm wondering. Oh dear me. Ah! I didn't want that to happen, but I don't think anything else is going to happen. Right, over here. So, hey, we've got a way to mass produce it now. All you've got to do is... Hey, there's a lot of... Uh, get ste. You know, get ste. Bleed him a little bit. Throw up all over ste. And then you've got your weakening. That actually is an awesome and pretty metal bit of alchemy right there. So we have Flamuxium here. We have Puss, if you saw the last video about the meat biome, the meat realm. I like the way it's called meat realm, not meat biome, by the way. Little nice touch that. And we also have Peep, Urine, you know. So Puss, Urine, and Flamuxium. It makes... Oh, where is it? Did it make another... Was it gas? Oh, unless it has to be put in a potion, there should be. All right, maybe. Because there should be gate opener. So apparently not as easy as all that. Although that doesn't look like P, does it? That doesn't look like at the bottom. Oh, maybe the Dominion... Like, if I mix it up, like, get a bit of a blender job on. Maybe it's just bad mixture. Maybe that's it at the bottom now. Oh, it is! We got gate opener right at the bottom. I, I, can, prob oh, I can probably just chill in this. You know. I'm confused. Which isn't a... You know. Ah, can we... If I just keep shooting... Yeah, you see, gate opener. There's the tiny bit of gate opener down there. Now, we don't know what this is used for. It is used in other alchemy, so now we've got an actual way of making it.
Didn't exactly make a lot of it, but me spilling a bit of Dominion... Dominion... Whoa! Whoa! That green in the dark, man, it really glows, doesn't it? There, we've got night light. Maybe that's what's in night lights and all those kids drinking them, you know? Is that That's why they're weakening in the hospital, you know? <laughs> Probably. Again. Ah, oh, it says ground, but... Oh, is it there? Yeah, that's gate opener. Right there. Ah, oh, me being flummoxed. Oh, that's P. You can see the tiniest little bit there. Come on, get it down. I want to... It says gate opener. You can see it in the, just next to the uh, potions. You can. Right there. You see? You have to... It's a quick one. But it do be there. It's a bit weird. I don't know whether it's disappearing. You know what I mean? It actually might be disappearing. Which is why it was actually so difficult. So, if you're making this, I suggest you make a vat of the stuff, right? You get, like, a vat of pus. And you do it properly, right? You don't, you know, mix in Dominion. Uh... <laughs> Uh, some alchemy is actually a lot trickier than others, so yeah, watch out for that. That's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Again, um, it was on the other alchemy update that it mentioned gate opener, and it's used in creating Dominion, I think. I think it's another recipe for Dominion. Involved in all that. And this is, don't, just ignore this. This is just my pile of purifying powder. That I made for myself. We have silver. Many silvers in here. And a bit of teleport. So if we make some silver. For the next little magic trick. Blow in. And we get, my friends. Teleport gas. We now have teleport gas. Although silver is not as popular as, say, even diamond. You don't get that much silver in the game. So this is going to be quite rare. But, hey, having... Involuntary teleport at any point is really savage. But if you kill, yeah, if you kill Uko, you'll get diamond. But I don't think anyone will be bleeding the silver on you. So it's going to be out of pouches. It's going to be those rare instances where, you know, it's just a tiny little bit in the terrain, maybe. But again, not only do we have telegas now, but hey, the marquee thing we've all been waiting for. Um, like, since the early access days. Uh, oh, yes, this is all my copper. So we've had to deal with, and many of us have dealt very finely with, the polymorphine turns you into a sheep, you see. A fine sheep, a noble sheep. Glorious and, you know, thick. Pretty round. And we turn back and we survive, right? What happens, however, if I now throw copper in there? Well, my friends, it's the polygas which we get turned into a sheep. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Like, literally. It seems to be really quite slow at dissipating as well, you know? That ain't quick. Oh, dearie me. And copper? Is, is not that rare. I think we're going to be seeing quite... So watch out for the pink gas, my friends. Yeah. But, hey, we can spray it in. What I want to do... I'm basically streaming an hour after I upload this. I want to make a polygas gun. A polygas wand, you know? Hey, this isn't it, though. This isn't over yet. Because I mentioned yesterday that I was going to do some on stream, but since we got an update, update today, we've changed, and I'll do it right now. So, if I did this yesterday, it wouldn't have worked. But today, they did add... Let me just get this new utility box. If you've seen yesterday's video, you'll know about the utility box. Otherwise, you can click on that last video, and you'll learn all about the util box. Hey, it's nice. It's nice and green. Oh, dear. Don't lose it. No! Gotcha. Uh, you can actually teleport. Ah, uh, teleport bolt might open it, and that was pretty stupid, but hey, at least we recovered it. At least it didn't go 100% wrong. You know? Uh, here in Nighter, there's a tendency to, you know? So, if we put it down, 
Your curiosity is rewarded and we get utility brain so we can get oodles of stuffs. Very, very nice. Modifiers, utility spells. Also, with the addition... Yeah, they just seem to be opening. Like, the force of distance shouldn't have opened them. Like, speed shouldn't open a utility. Only a destructive kind of spell or opening it yourself should open them. But they seem... Oh, there we are. So I don't know whether it's a distance thing, whether at a certain distance they just open to make sure they don't disappear. I wonder if that's kind of the thing that's been added to stabilize some of the potential disappearances of things. Because if we throw this off there now, it's actually more likely to not disappear. Same with tablet. However, my friends, you might have noticed me looking at that nice, uh, very dark potion in my potion inventory. We've seen nearly everything. There's a few other minor details we'll go over in a second, but like gate opener, we couldn't make it before. And it was just in the game, like the holy damage that was included that we couldn't make it, but then it was included in something. We now have in the game, instant deathium potion. So we can carry it. You know, we can have a, a potion. It's in cheat GUI. It's in the code of the game. And if we spread it, Oh, that's thick. It creates... Death. My... No, it is not Midas death, right? That's cursed death, by the way. Do not go around, because I heard in the no, yeah, Discord as well, people were complaining about this. Midas death is like a tagline for... It's just a kind of filler, shall we say? Of a, it's, a, it's not even a descriptor. It's kind of like a placeholder. But it's not Midas damage. It's cursed damage, we believe. So, a lot of people say a lot of stuff's Midas damage when it's not. So, yeah. I actually learned something today. Yeah, I mean, doesn't really matter. Call it what you want. It's the same effect, isn't it? However, instant deathium being in the game is pretty, pretty cool. So, as well as the utility rain and the instant deathium, the instant deathium plus air equals uh, an instant death effect. We saw the Puss, Puss and Pete and Flamuxium making a very slight bit of gate opener. Maybe, again, with it being called gate opener, it's one of those that ugh, it could have something to do with the actual gate in the very last floor, the triangle boss. Or it could do with a cauldron. Don't know. Well, we'll have to have a look in the gander, right? But the fact it made so little of it could have been my, shall we say, bad alchemy practices. I don't exactly have a whirring blender, you know, at the top of that world. Dupl duplicate water plus pus removed. I'm not sure what that's talking about. I know what duplicate water might be, because there's two different types of water in the game, maybe even three. If you shift regular water, you know you find that green dude who fires two red cursed orbs at you, and it lightning clouds you. That dude will leak an alternative type of water. So if you shift water out of the game, you can still get water from that green dude. So you can kind of hoard water all over again. It's just a pain in the ass. So that might be duplicate water. I'm not sure if that's referring to you can remove pus with duplicate water. So if that green dude's hopping around, you might remove pus over time. Uh, fungus brass, magic fungus gas. That's one I missed. Hey! Find that for yourself. Will you trip off it? Will you not? Will you see things you're not meant to see? Hey, get some fungus. Get some brass. Get to, you know, fungal right now. Hey, you know I me. Mean, just like I didn't tell you that thing yesterday. Hey. 100% spoilers ain't my jam. You know, I'll leave some for you to go on a mission with. But that's... It's there. It's... The formula is there, you know? Yeah, if you're interested in that, you won't mind. But thank you to Hamis for this as well. Uh, teleport plus silver. Teleport gas. Polymorph copper. Polygas. Vomit bone. Diminutin. Polytele diminutin lava gas variants. I didn't really... Yeah, I definitely didn't feel like doing that one. It's just, you know, gas variants. Big whoop. But yeah, the magic fungus. I'll have a gander at that one, because that's going to be quite easy. Hey, watch on the uh, casual runs we do. 
here on YouTube. Or over at Twitch.tv, we'll do that one, you know? We'll have a little uh, magic fungus gas session, you know? Hot box little room or something. Sit there staring at the wall for 12 hours. Yeah, sounds like a fun time. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. That is your update for the 28th July? Yeah, 2023. Like the 4th? Either way, we've probably got a weekend now, you know, where um, they generally, NOLA don't generally update during the weekend. So I think we've got a weekend. I've got my five year anniversary. I've got my 10K follower celebration this weekend over on twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together, which actually isn't there at the moment. It's scrolling soon, but it's normally up there. And in details in the description for other ways you can help the channel, join us over at the stream. Link in the description as well. And. You know, Streamlabs link for one of contributions. Join button for, you know, contributing on a more regular basis. Yeah. It's all highly appreciated. And all goes to helping continue what we do here over on YouTube and over on Twitch. Uh, let's get to it then. Let's get, you know, making a... What I wanted to do, I want to make a polygas, Midas gas combination wand gun. So it deletes terrain... And turns the enemies into sheep as it goes up. You know? And there's nothing left apart from floating sheep. Nothing. Oh, no, there will be gold. Nice. Lots of gold, sheep, and nothing else. That'll be a mighty fine wand. Hey, we'll build it very soon. I'll see you around, guys. You take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. I keep on enjoying the updates. I'll see you very soon. Hey, watch out for that gas, that polygas. I think that, again, the magic fungus, what's the worst that's going to happen? You know, you're going to, ooh, trip balls a little bit, you know? No need to really assure you. I forgot, all right? <laughs> I should read things properly. It's um, a big problem of mine, you know? Hey, I'm excited. But you know what else I'm excited for? Hey, excited for the pounders. The people who also contribute towards the channel. Hey, a pound a month, it all adds up. And it's all highly appreciated. Thank you very much to the pounders out there. Pounding hard. Until next time, my friends. Take care, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your life. And I'll catch up with you very soon. Much love, my friends. Peace.